Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafty Not Shifty. Today is day seven of my 12 days of Christmas series. Yes, Christmas is over, but life kind of got in the way. And so I have a couple videos coming up late. And the 12 days of Christmas are really until the 6th of January. So I'm gonna let it slide. <laughs> so I'm taking an alcohol swab and some anti-static powder and I'm just preparing the surface of this inexpensive ceramic mug because I'm going to be customizing it and I actually made two of these, one to be used for myself and one for Darren for our hot chocolate on Christmas Eve and these are super cute and so easy to make. They would make great gifts all year round. They won't last that well <laughs> if you're kind of you know scrubbing them when you're washing them the powder will come off but they look really cute as a kind of short-term gift and I, th I think this particular powder is just beautiful so I went ahead and prepared the surface of this mug with some um, anti-static powder tool after using an alcohol swab just to really clean and prep that surface and then I inked up a stamp with some Versamark ink and then I just rolled the mug onto the stamp to transfer the image and then I'm using my heat gun to heat set this. Now this took a surprisingly long time. I was actually thinking that maybe there might be some issues with the mug cracking. Um, I, was, I was a little bit anxious as I was doing this. It really did take a long time for that powder to start to melt. And that's not because of the properties of this new powder from Love From Lizzie, which is a beautiful rose copper. It's actually just because I was embossing onto ceramics. So do be warned that if you give this a try, it does take a long time. So now for this one, I decided to use another image from the Merry and Bright Love From Lizzie stamp set. And this time I'm using the stamp without a block just to help it kind of curve around that curved surface of the mug and to press that image exactly where I want it because I can see what I'm doing. I don't have to lay the mug down onto my stamp block. I found that this did work really well also and for any areas where I had excess powder I just went ahead and used a fluffy brush to brush it away and if I had a small area that missed a bit of the powder I just used a um, emboss it pen. This has a clear sticky ink similar to Versafine inside of a pen and you can just go ahead and fill in any gaps and then just pour on the powder. You see how I tried to flick the excess off there? Um, I don't recommend doing that unless you're using paper because this is a ceramic mug and it will hurt your finger. So once again, I let my heat gun get really good and hot and then brought it to that mug and just kind of bared with it while it really got the heat into the surface of that powder to help it melt and become more permanent on the mug. As I mentioned er earlier, I don't believe that these are suitable for use in a dishwasher. My dishwasher is broken, so I can't test that for you, but I can't imagine that they would fare too well and they will scrub away if you're really kind of scrubbing at this and cleaning it. So it's kind of more of a temporary gift, but I think they're really sweet. I went ahead and added some initials, just using the same stamping process onto the back. I added an L for me and a D for Darren. And that is it for today's project. I think these would be super cute as little like Valentine's gifts or those little gift sets you see where you kind of fill a mug with all different things, whether it be kind of manicure goodies or hot chocolate goodies or whatever it is the recipient is interested in receiving. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end. If you're new here, then go ahead and click the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, you can tap the bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. That's all for me today. I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.